after most of his creations were removed by the Hong Kong government, French graffiti artist Invader, known for his pixelated mosaic space invaders installed in more than 60 cities worldwide, has invaded Hong Kong again. But this time, the setting is not Hong Kong streets, but something more sedate: a solo exhibition. We basically put together an exhibition after all of his artworks were taken down off the streets in 2014. Um, Hoka Foundation um, and the artists decided that it would be great to put the artworks up again so that people can see it, but inside a gallery context. So by placing the artworks in this room, people are able to go up close and see them again and see the pieces that were their favorites that were taken down from before. Um, well, the pieces behind me actually are Rubik cube pieces made out of the game, the Rubik's cubes. And、um, they were made especially for the exhibition. So we have Bruce Lee, we have、uh, Super Mario Zedong,、um, and we have the explosion as well.、Um, we also have five new LED pieces,、um, which were made in Hong Kong, one by one LED, and they are、um, something that he, the artist has wanted to make for a very long time, but he hasn't had the chance to yet. And he was very inspired by the skyline of Hong Kong and all of the different LED panels, and so he decided to、uh, make these LEDs specially for this exhibition. Well, I think his connection to Hong Kong is very strong、uh, because he's been to Hong Kong a couple times, and he's met a lot of local artists like King of Kowloon and MC Yan, and、uh, he's created a kind of community around his artwork here. And I think when his pieces were taken off of the streets, a lot of people kind of rallied around him and really、um, wanted him to continue putting up his artwork. So he feels like the Hong Kong people really love him and his work, and so it was a good opportunity for him to come back.